right so before we start building the actual stonework itself we're just going to reinstate this underneath this rod so we've had to dig all this away and take all the spoil away and we're going to put it back in with some better stuff you can see it in front of you this is type one and it's just some hard stone and we're just gonna just chuck them in it's, it's much like what you see at the side of railways so railway lines so we're just going to put this in and we're going to uh, give it a, a right proper whack and get it nice and tight and nice and solid and we're going to work up off of that and every so often we're just going to bring it up a wee bit further to the top of the block work in front of you because the road is something like well, look, sir, you can see I think it's like 700 millimeters above where we are so we need to get back up to that and also we need to face this block work here in stone and you'll see how we do it in a minute. I'm going to kick off the base course of the stonework on the garden side while Greg puts up the blockwork wall that we're going to face. So I'm just going to lay the foundation course in here, so I'm almost just going to throw this in. And in front of you, I've laid as wet as you've seen by when I put the bed down, so I've laid some flat stones there so that it's just easy to build up off it. And I'm just going to sort of pack quite a lot of cement in there just to give it a wee and just haunch it up a bit just to give it a wee bit extra structure so that when the ground goes back in front of it here I'm just going to scrape it all back and I'm just going to put everything back in, back in in front of it and just bring the ground back level and build up off of this now and then I'm going to use a line from here on in or measure in from the face or arras of the stone to the block work which the bricklayer Greg is building at the moment. So we he's just going to put a big bed on there, a big a huge trowel front trowel full, and he's just going to spread out nice, a big full bed, and he's going to build to the front of this line, and it means we're just going to go up, we're going to go up level, and we're going to go up plumb. So there's a bit of a difference in the mortar that we're going to be using here. So as you can see, that looks like it's softer. That's a brick is mortar. <laughs> That's just building sand, plasticizer, and cement. We are going to be using cement, sharp sand, and a bit of building sand. Sharp sand just helps just pack the beds out a bit, and it's just easier to lay stone with, and you need a bit of a dryer mix. Harry, I've reached the top. Oh! 
Hey. Hey, Kenny, lost button. It's fucking too heavy. Go <laughs> get it. Where's a fucking tough? This is a wee bit of longer bit of the video, but I'm just trying to find a face here. So I'm just going to spin it around a few times and now I'm just going to try and back it off to 100 mil. This is what I'm going to do with basically every stone on the job because it's came off the wall in the first place after being hit by a car. So we have to then bring the stone back, redress a face on the old stuff. And this, st this wind stone is a nightmare. You'll see it just splits here. It just splits the opposite way you want it to. I've actually ended up with a half decent sort of face here and a couple of stones that are usable, but you're just sort of, sort of pissing into the wind a bit. So yeah, this is it's difficult stone to work with. So especially having to take it to a hundred mil when most of them can be like 300 mil, which in inches is four inches is a hundred mil. Four inches in American. American sizes. And the hammer is that's called a a catchy hammer or a stone axe, a walling hammer. I call it a catchy hammer. It's for ruble walling. So sometimes the stone doesn't react the way you would like it to, so you have to sometimes use a one sometimes use a chisel, other times you just use the direct face of the hammer and it it gives you a sort of takes different sort of pieces of the stone off what you'd like. You you need to take nice big nap, take some nice big flakes off every time. It won't come away if you just try and split split the stone straight down the middle, it just will not split. So you have to just take bits and pieces off at a time and just work at it and work at it and work at it. It's a nightmare. This angle, please stick up in here. Cover this joint, come fully across it and cover this, and then we can come in the top. So that leaves us to come into this height, cover here, and we're going to have to find a small piece to come from the top of this stone and height and reach this. And here is Greg and Shug, just on the opposite side of the wall from myself, and they're just bringing up at the same time. Again, if you like one, two, three, we've got more here, we've got one, two, three, four, but we've got these two snacks, remember? Snack. You can have two, and it kind of doesn't give you a Lisbon joy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Right, so this is important when you're building any type of stone. You need to have a decent mixture of mortar, preferably lime mortar. This is cement. You need to have a good mixture of mortar and stone so 
you want to be pushing your your pinners into the middle of your wall and it, you, it just it forces mortar into all the crevices and just really makes it properly solid. So I always think building stones in like this always gives it a nice decent bit of bonding as well and I always think makes it a bit stronger so do this if you can. But remember a backfill is always a decent amount of mortar and stones. Build it up level and just build it up as you go because if you if you start backfilling every so often you end up pushing the stones out and it's a nightmare to build and every single stone has to be dressed. And here we are up to now and we need to have a day off for the frost I believe so we're going to be back in a few days so I'll try and upload the next part of the video shortly I think. Thanks for watching and subscribe if you've got this far please.